So if you watched the last episode where I got all those raw jubblies, I had uh, 35 of them in total after I finished getting the satchels, and I put them in for 50k each, <laughs> and two of them sold overnight so far, so that's 100k from two raw jubblies, so best money making method confirmed right there. Well, first kill back here in a little while, and a third Dragon 2H sword, and this thing is dropping all sorts of shit for me, but there we go. Lovely D2H right there. Well, kill 482, Dragon 2H sword number 4, now it's even with the uh, Dragon Pickaxes, and I've gotten 4 of each rare drop, this 1 and 256, in 482 kills, so that is really strange, but, uh, I guess it's cool with me. Well, there we go, kill count 500 on Venonatus, no pets, so a quarter of the way to the drop rate, and, uh, yeah, that went pretty well, and I've made a lot of money at Venonatus, definitely, it's a really good boss, and I'm really enjoying it, but, uh, I'm probably going to do something else for a little while, I don't know, I'll probably come back to it pretty soon, but I definitely want to keep doing some more Giant Wall. I did a few hundred kills the other day, and I'm definitely going to be doing more of that. And I'm probably going to be doing a bit of a solver here and there too, and I'd like to get into doing some Scorpia, maybe go for 500 Scorpia KC, because I think that's a pretty fast one as well. Just generally I'd like to do some more Wilderness Bossing and see if I can get a couple of these pets done. Alright, about to kill it for... well, fucking... there we go. Kill count 100 on Scorpia for a nothing drop. That's the third nothing drop I've gotten in 100 kills. It's kind of silly. That's a rare drop table. Um, I don't know how rare it actually is, but kind of annoying either way. But yeah, 100 Scorpia kill count. I think this is actually, believe it or not, the second easiest boss pet in the game, if you don't include Chompy, because that's not really a boss pet. It's just a pet. Um, obviously, Chaos Elemental pet is easier because Chaos Fanatics, you can kill like 50 to 60 per hour, and uh, it's only 1 in 1k. But this, you can kill like 30 to 40 per hour, and it's 1 in 2k. Um, you can, it's slower kills per hour by a bit than Giant Mole, but it has a higher drop rate, so overall it takes less time, statistically speaking, to get the Scorpia pet, so it's actually a very, very easy pet compared to other pets. Uh, the main nuisance, obviously, is that there are a lot of PKers out here. I've gotten PK'd, actually, I'm, I'm usually hopping around, but since I'm commentating, I don't actually know how long it takes to respawn, but I don't think it takes that long, there it is. So, um, yeah, you get PK'd a lot, and, uh, other than the Odium Shard, or the Odium and Malediction Shard, the drops really aren't that great. Um, it, it's it's not terrible, it's not as bad as like the Chaos Phonetics drop table aside, well, just in general, yeah. Um, because it drops a lot of like rune items and stuff, but it's still not very good. Um, but yeah, I'm probably going to stay here for a little while, I'm not exactly sure. I think I'll probably only do Wilderness Bosses in the mornings, and then I'll move to Giant Mole or Solra in the evenings, or maybe something else if I feel like it. Um, because PKs are just going to be stupid. I mean, at Venonatus, the PKs really aren't that bad, but here they're definitely worse, um, just because it's multi and they can land more kills. I don't know why I splash so fucking much. But anyways, yeah, interesting uh, boss here. See if we get any shards. Even if I get a Maledition, it's still a pretty good drop. But the Odium Shard, I think, is if it's still how it was before, it's like 3 mil, so that's a really, really good drop. But yeah, th stuff like Buckets of Sand, not exactly the greatest. Oh, yeah, another thing I forgot to mention, I picked this up off of uh, Robo to bring a Seratom and Godsword here, and I'm 3-iteming, so I have Occult, Trident, and uh, SGS. I'm not even going to bother 4 iteming because I really don't feel like losing anything uh, to stupid mistakes or whatever, but yeah, you can use the SGS to heal on either the little Scorpion minion things in there or the Scorpions out here. Um, even if you only hit the 2 damage, it heals and restores prayer based on the amount that you would have hit if it had higher hit points, and they have really, really low defense, so you almost always get at least a 10 heal, because it heals a minimum of 10, even if you hit, like, 1 damage. Um, so yeah, that really helps make the trips a lot longer, um, and gets you better kills per hour, which is a really, really nice thing to have. So I would definitely recommend bringing an SGS if you have one, if you, and you're uh, thinking of killing this boss. Well, just got PK'd twice in a row, and I still got my runes back. I dropped them right before I died, and then I got PK'd again, and dropped them right before I died again, and... Uh... Alright, come on, back. Save myself 250k. Alright, time for gamble number 5 or 6, I don't even know now, but there we go, 21 Torstals, that's actually not too bad. Alright, and another gamble, Granite Shield, yay. Alright, well the update just happened, Olaf the Bard is wearing a untrimmed music cape, so I guess he doesn't have an achievement diary cape, what a noob. But, let's pick one up for 99,000 coins, should be trimmed I think. There we go. Oh, it's untrimmed. So how do I, do I have to, like, right-click trim it or something like that? Yeah, there we go. Sweet. It actually looks pretty good, yeah. I could probably get some nice fashion escape with this. Not a bad-looking cape at all. So, a lot of people in my last video were asking about uh, Venatus and how I was getting so many kills on a trip. I was using a save spot, 
and it was patched today, so yeah, there we go. <laughs> I got 500 kills out of it, at least, so I'm fine with that, but I think I am going to sell off all the loot now. I probably made, like, somewhere between 30 and 40 mil, I know, probably upwards of 40 mil. Um, so that's pretty good, and I, it's definitely faster kills. It wasn't, like, crazy fast, because you don't, you can't use Venge since you're not taking any damage. It's just that you could do a lot of kills in one trip, and you didn't use supplies other than prior pots, really. So, yeah, that's over as far as I know. I don't think I'll be able to do that anymore, and, uh... I probably won't do much Venonauts for a bit, because uh, I think I'll probably do mostly Scorpia for a while in the mornings as my Wilderness boss, um, until I get some more Scorpia KC. I'm at 150 right now, so I'm going to keep working on that for a while, I think, and just I just really want to get another pet, you know? It's been a really long time since I got a pet, and it's just kind of depressing. All these other people that have so many pets got ridiculously lucky with them, but yeah, I think I'm going to sell off all of this. I might sell off all like all of my loot tab besides giant wall and see what I get, but yeah. Alright, so I sold my Venonatus loot and some Zolra stuff and a few drops and Corp and stuff for 43 mil in total. So that's pretty nice. Um, I still have all of my giant mole stuff, of course. That's worth about 65 mil is what I price checked it at last night. So that's sizing up quite nicely. So I guess my total loot tab was a bit over 100 mil. Um, and I'm probably making at least like 50 to 100 mil every week. I don't know. I'm making a lot of money, but throw this in here and we've got a nice 79 mil cash stack and if I ever get this giant mole pet I'm at 4.5k KC right now I've just been slowly doing it I'll finally be able to sell all this crap and get a whole bunch more money from that but oh, I forgot about my fucking rune pickaxes I got so many rune pickaxes from Venonatus and also I've got already gotten a lot of them from uh, Scorpia but yeah look at this bank loot 1.3 mil just from rune picks Max Cave is passing and I'm so happy that they finally have done this but yeah 89% I definitely think it'll pass. Fire cape stats are not passing, but as long as you get a max cape on us, you don't even care that much. But yeah, I'd encourage you guys to check out this poll. Another thing that I'm really hyped about is um, the fishing trawler outfit. I've been wanting this to happen forever, get a fishing 2.5% XP outfit from fishing trawler. Um, yeah, I've been wanting that for a while, so I'm really glad about that too. And the rest, there's a few other cool things in here too. Clicking camera to face north, or the, whatever the hell it's called, compass to face north is really nice, but... Yeah, I would encourage you guys to check out this poll and vote. Alright, this is the most anticlimactic... <laughs> oh my fucking god, I just got the giant mole pet. And I hopped worlds because I was watching a video without even noticing it because I'm so on autopilot with this boss. And then I... saw this chaos elemental pet because somebody else was on this world and then I looked and it had a, giant <laughs> a baby mole pet next to me. Oh my god, I actually got it! I don't, I don't even know what my kill count is, because it's like 4,000... It's around 4,500. I got the mole pet! Oh my god, that was so lame, though. I, I really need to get better at YouTube. I should, like, record before every single kill, but it's just, like, after thousands of them, it gets kind of tiring to do that every single time. But, ah... Uh, <laughs> but finally, it's been so long since I got a pet. So I can finally sell my uh, mole loot tab and all that. Oh my god, that's amazing. Pet number three, basically, as far as actual boss pets go. So these are the final uh, claws and skins that I got. I'm missing ten claws. A couple of them I missed due to like disconnecting right after I killed it. And I think I did like seven kills before I started really going for it. Like a long time ago, I just did a random few giant mole kills. So... I'm missing a few of them, but this is, you know, pretty much all of them right there. I've never actually traded in noted claws and nests, but you can, or claws and skins. Um, and I'm going to regret this a lot, I think, because this is going to take a really long time. This is like, was it like 13 or 14,000 uh, nests that I'm going to have to open and then crush? Ugh, yeah, it's, it's not going to be too fun. It'll take a while, but I'm really, really curious to see what it's going to look like. So. According to the G, I think this is, a, is actually pretty close to accurate. These are selling for around 3,800. These are selling for around 3,600, according to OS Buddy Exchange also. So these are worth just shy of 50 mil. And I'm going to see, you know, how many of each type of nest I get and uh, how much it's worth and how long it takes. And then I can save you guys some time for determining whether it's worth it to do this or whether it's worth it to just sell them uh, and go about your way. So I've been wanting to do this for a while, and I'm quite curious about it. The, the rest of the loot came out to... Uh, be a total of about 66 mil, mostly including the U-logs. I did not keep track of runes because um, I was too lazy, but I did get a ton of air, blood, law, and fire runes, and a few death runes also. Um, but the, it was basically probably about 70 mil for all of these kills, so, you know, that's pretty nice, and uh, I'm glad that I finally get to turn this into cash, but let's do it. I'll trade the mole parts. 
All right. Oh, wow. All right, so you get a lot more seed nests. See, this is interesting right at the start. So you can get a rough ratio. So let me do some math here. So it's a total of 13,342 nests. And out of that, 10,006 were seed nests. Um, let's see. 2,000 of them were ring nests and 1334 empty nests. So look at that, exactly 10% of them, one, one out of 10 it'll be empty, 1334, look at that, perfectly, pretty much perfectly exact. And 2002 out of 13342, um, looks like 15% of them are um, going to be ring nests, and so that leaves 75% of them as a uh, Wait, let's see how close this is to accurate. 13, 3, 4, 2 times 0.75. Look at that. Perfectly. See, now we have the stats. 75% 70, of them will be uh, seed nests, 25%, or no, 15% will be ring nests, and 10% will be empty. This is why I waited so long to do this, so I can get some interesting info on it, but there we go. I'm going to empty these and uh, see what kind of, you know, how many seeds, uh, rings, all that crap you get. So to make sure that my bank is completely empty of any items you can get from this, I'm going to sell off all my seeds. I don't even know if you get some of these from the nests at all, but I'm going to sell off all my seeds and all my rings um, just to make sure that I get a good sample of data because data. Because if I'm going to do this, then I'm going to do it right. So there we go. So with these packs, you can extract them into your inventory. I was getting a little bit terrified because I was thought I would kind of have to do that one at a time. I guess it wouldn't have been too bad, but you can also extract them into your bank like this, and they all go in there. So. Look at all those nests. This is going to take a long time. <laughs> well guys, I finally finished this long process of ending all the nests and then crushing them. And uh, this is the final loot from all of my giant mole kills. Aside from the runes, I kind of wish I'd kept track, but it would have been a major pain. So, uh, skipped that, but just shy of 80 million GP from 4,485 giant mole kills. And uh, you can pause the video if you want to see the exact numbers of seeds and everything. You get quite a lot, and uh, you, these are all Renar seeds. And you can actually get mage seeds. I only got 8 magic seeds in 13.3k, uh, well, 10k seed nests. Um, so yeah, they're probably 1 in a 1,000. I also got 12 uh, spirit seeds. Those are probably also 1 in a 1,000. Um, but yeah, you get a lot of U seeds, and it basically brought the total value of the loot up by about 15 mil like 14 15 mil um and it took me around five hours i think to get all of this done um it was a lot of clicks it was a lot of clicks um but i would say it's actually worth it honestly 14 mil for five hours that's not too bad at all um so yeah i'm kind of glad i did this and it also provides some very nice data so i'm gonna go sell all this stuff off and uh i guess i will i don't even know what boss i'm gonna do next i mean i'll probably do a lot of uh I mean, I'll keep varying what I'm doing, but I probably will do a bit of Zolra, and uh, I don't know, I might actually save Wilderness Bosses for the 2k plus Total World that's coming out, because that's a thing that's happening, it's passing the poll by quite a lot, um, and it might be wiser to wait with the Wilderness Bosses until then, because the Wilderness on those worlds will be beautiful, so yeah, we'll see what happens, but I'll, I'm sure I'll have a plan pretty soon. I almost forgot to insure this little guy, let's make sure I get this done. 500k coins, definitely worth it to insure it. Well, I decided to do some uh, King Black Dragon, and uh, this is actually one of the signature drops, or at least one of the original signature drops from KBD back in the day. If this was RuneScape Classic, that would be a very nice drop to get, but... Yeah, I think I'm gonna do a bit of KBD just because it's very simple, it's very AFK, it's very basic, and... Uh, I don't know, I feel like kind of chilling out for a bit, and this is pretty much the only like AFK boss, really, so... Yeah, I'm kind of enjoying it. It's not extremely fast, but it's not extremely slow either, and I actually really, really like this pet. It's one of my favorites. I've been waiting for those to come in. Another pair of KVD heads. There we go. Those are 1 in 128. I've gotten like three D meds already. I haven't recorded every single one, but yeah, those are as rare as D meds, but I probably will have, you know, quite a few of these by the time I actually get the pet. And another KVD heads not too long after it all, so uh, let's see what that KC is. I haven't even been looking at it, but yeah, 448 KC, not too bad. I guess I'm like a si close to a sixth of the way to the drop rate. All right, kill count number 600 on the King Black Dragon. So there we go, fifth of the way to the drop rate, not too bad at all. I think I'm killing somewhere around 30-ish, uh, 30, 30 to 40 per hour. I haven't been keeping close track because it's really AFK. I've just been kind of using it to do other things at the same time. Um, actually, I've been playing 
I'm playing my free-to-play account a little bit. The account that I made for that video, uh, I guess it was a couple weeks ago now. I've just been messing around in free-to-play. It's kind of fun to, you know, relive the good old days, even if it's completely inefficient. And, there would be, you know, if I actually wanted to go serious with that account, I would get members on it, on it and everything. But it's just been kind of fun messing around. But, yeah, I'm, I mean, you can fully AFK at King Black Dragon, and it doesn't slow down your kill rate at all because you literally just sit there and hit it and pray, and it works out perfectly. But... Yeah, I'm kind of liking it, and King Black Dragon Pet, even though it's not really the most impressive one, it's honestly one of my favorites, just because I think it looks really, really sick, so it'd be nice to get this one knocked out pretty soon, but um, I'll probably keep uh, rotating between this and Zolra, and maybe do some other Willy bosses still. I, I probably won't do too much, but I still might do a little bit of Scorpia here and there, because it's kind of fun, and it would be cool to get that pet also, but... Yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode, and I will be streaming after this goes live, so you guys can check that out if you want to see more content from me. We'll be doing some pet hunting and some troll brewing later on in the uh, day, well, depending on what, ta what time it is for you. It'll be, it'll be one, th 1 to 3 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard, so you can convert it to whatever time zone it is for you. In the UK, that's like uh, 6 to 8 p.m., I think it is, because I think they're five hours ahead of me. So, Yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Feel free to drop a like if you did, and yeah, I'll see you guys soon with more videos. Mm -hmm.